uh, we have been able to take up to four to five classes. I mean, this is the level where we are right now is resolving indical problems, indical problems, and this is one of them. Uh, if you look at this question, you will see the nature of the problem that is presented here. And one is expected to find in this example one, find the value of x, and in this example two, uh, also find the value of s. The question is, how can we be able to resolve a matter like this? So it's a problem that is mandating from indices. Please take note, if this is the first time you are meeting us, we have done a lot of classes already in indices. You might not be able to understand what we're doing at this level if you don't go back to check out on those classes where we started introducing indices, the laws of indices, and basic problems that come from indices. Then at this level where we announce resolving indical problems. All right, let's see how we can be able to handle this. If you are given a problem like this that says if 4 raised to the power x minus 1 times 5 raised to the power 2x minus 2 is equal to 100, find the value of x. What are you going to do to be able to resolve a problem like this? What are you going to do? So we have to start from somewhere. So that somewhere, as I am looking at it, as I am looking at it, is because this four has chances of being taken to index form. Okay, the possibility is there. So, um, but this five. That possibility isn't quite there. And this 100, even if I say 10 squared, there's nothing to balance it with. So let's start from here and see what is going on. So I can write that as 2 raised to the power 2 bracket x minus 1. And then times 5 to the power 2x minus 2. Then equals to 100. So if I open bracket, this bracket, I will have 2 in bracket 2x minus 1, no, minus 2, because 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times minus 1 is uh, minus 2. Okay, then times 5 raised to the power 2x minus 2 equals to 100. Okay, do you realize that the power here is now equal to the power here? So we have a way out. We have a way out. So I can bring these two together as 2 times 5. Then raised to the power the common power, which is 2x minus 2 equals to 100. So from there, we will have 10, because this 2 times 5 is 10. So power 2x minus 2 equals to, I think right now I can change this thing, this 100 to 10 squared. Wow. So do you realize that the, the base now are equal? So I can say since their base are equal, comma, equates their powers. So we now have from here 2x minus 2 equals to 2. That means that 2x, this over here, become 2 plus 2. And then we have 2x equals to 4. Divide both sides by 2 here. You have x equals to 2. So that's the resolution. So you can see we have been able to resolve the first instance. And um, I'm sure you took note of what we did. We were able to look at an access point. And that was changing this for to its index form. Okay, that's exactly what helped us to be able to assess that problem and then bring it to a resolution. Okay, the second one, we have B, which says if 2 raised to the power x plus 6 times 5 raised to the power 3x plus 4 times 10 raised to the power x times 4 raised to the power x minus 2 is equal to 1, find x. So, 
Do you see this is yes, we can't enter, we can't get in from here, can't assess this problem from here. This one there is no possibility there. This one, no possible, but let's check what check out what is going on here. So I can rewrite the entire expression as um, two to the power x plus six multiplying five to the power three x plus four multiplying 10 to the power x then then here i will write this as times 2 to the power 2 bracket x minus 2 you see how i did that now yeah. this 4 this for x minus 2 i rewrite it as this we get that now think 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 the last one is equals to 1 i think that is um very close so let's check out what is going on here now. So we will have 2 to the power x plus 6 multiplying 5 to the power 3x plus 4. Hmm? What do we have now? Let me see. Uh, times 10 raised to the power x, then times 2 raised to the power, this is. 2x minus 2. Hmm? Okay. Then equals to 1. So we have something here. And we have something here. They are, of course, they are of different, um, they are of different base. They are of the same base, but of different powers. But uh, let me try to break this. Let me break this and see whether there can be something here. Now, watch me bring these two together. I'll bring 2 to the power x plus 6, multiplying this one now. 2 to the power 2x minus 2. Then I'll bring down times, because since they are multiplication, they can exist in any position. It's a product. 5 to power 3x plus 4, then times now 10 to power x equals to 1. Okay, so that we can be able to check the addition of these powers as a result of this product. Huh? Okay, let's check the addition of these powers and see what will happen. So I will have single 2 being the base. I'll have x, then added to 2x, then plus 6, then minus 2, then times 5 to the power 3x plus 4, then times 10 to the power x, all equals to 1. Let's see what we've got out of this place. s plus 2s will give us, so we have 2 to the power, this is now 3x, and 6 minus 2 will give us plus 4. Then multiplying here. Five. Then we have three x plus four as well. Then times ten raised to the power x equals to one. We realize that the powers here now are the same, and I think we have achieved something similar to that sometime. Okay, so we can do the same thing here and here. So this will be two times five, all raised to the power three x plus four. Then times 10 raised to the power x, I'm still coming back to this, equals to 1. So here, you realize that this will become 10 to the power 30x 30, 30 plus 4. And then here, times, times, times uh, 10 to the power x equals to, permit me, to write this one as 10 to the power 0. Okay? I'm sure it doesn't pose any problem. So that I can add these powers here. I have 3x okay, plus 4 plus x equals to 0. So this and this will give me 4x equals to this over here will be minus 4. So at the end of the day, dividing both sides by 4, I will have... Uh, 
4x over 4 equals to minus 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 4 over 4. So I'll have x equals to minus 1. So I think this explanation is um, good enough. Take a look at it again. Take a look at it carefully, starting with the, this last one. Okay, take a look at it. I'm sure these explanations uh, they are good enough to help us to. They will be good enough to help us to face or to tackle any other problem out there that has to do with indical equations. Thank you so much for being part of the class. Please share to your friends. Click on the subscription button to subscribe, and then. Click on the notification button to be notified of our uploads and then also like the video as you promote us, as you are also promoting you out there. Thank you so much and God bless you.